boys and girls. Welcome to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids. And today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is for you to learn how to make your very own art salad. This is a salad that I made out of paper and a few coloring materials and some scissors. And I'm, not, I'm getting ready to eat my salad. No, I'm not. But I'm going to show you how easy it is and you can make one of these too. So just watch. I use just plain white computer paper. I use markers. You can use crayons. You're going to need to color on both sides. We're going to use greens, three different shades of green, some orange, purple, red, and yellow. And if you can find a small sponge, but I'm going to say it's optional, you can make your croutons. Well, I'm using my one stroke method to start coloring. I've done dark green first, then I'm doing my regular green, then I'm going to do light green. I like three different shades for my lettuce. Lettuce looks good when it has a couple different shades. My orange will be for my carrots, the yellow will be for my egg yolk, and the red will be for my tomatoes. I'm using purple for my onions, my wife's favorite. I can't make a salad for her without onions. Now I'm drawing water drop shapes on the green. After I finish drawing all my water drop shapes, then I'm going to cut them out using scissors. Take your time when cutting. Try to stay on the line. After we finish cutting out all of our shapes, and they don't all have to look alike. You can have some that are small and some are large. These are our lettuce leaves. And remember, lettuce leaves come in different sizes. Now, we're going to start folding the leaves in half and then crumple them. Just crumple it up, just like you're balling up a tissue. And do another one and another one. After we crumple all of our leaves up, we will be uncrumpling them. We want to give them that worn out kind of look. We want to make them look like lettuce. So that's why we're crumpling. And now comes the unfolding. But when you unfold, you still want to keep the crumples. You don't want to have them to be too straight. You want them to look worn. Like a piece of romaine lettuce. Now I'm drawing and outlining semicircles for my tomato slices. And then I'm going to cut them out. Now, I'm going to end up drawing and cutting out circles for my two eggs in my salad. They're going to be the yolks of the eggs. Now, I'm going to put a yolk 
on white paper and draw an oval around it and then cut that out and I'll put a couple drops of glue now I'm going to cut my little carrot sticks I'm cutting little slits in the paper to make my carrot sticks I'm folding my purple paper in half and then I'm going to cut out semicircles again and after I cut out the semicircle I'm going to cut a smaller semicircle out of that while it's folded and that way I'll actually have my hole inside my onion without having to poke a hole it's crouton time only do this with your parents permission if you have a sponge now I'm cutting my sponge into little cubes now I have some paint I know you might not have paint but I got another solution for that if you don't have paint and you have a marker see if you can color your sponge with a marker if you have a tan or even a brown marker you can do that it's time to build a salad I'm starting to lay down my lettuce making sure it's nice and crinkly after the lettuce I think I'll add some tomato They go it's tomato time this is going to be a delicious salad my purple onions it's onion time I love the colors and that's one of the things I love about salads. They're so vibrant. My two eggs and my carrot sticks. And the last part will be my croutons. Voila. I've even put some dressing on it. It's really glue. But let's imagine that it's dressing. You like my salad, boys and girls? It looks so good. Oh, I think I'm going to try it. Here it comes. 